You're sitting down, ready to fire up Steam, maybe check out the store, maybe launch a game. But instead of smooth sailing, the app freezes and throws a little message at you. Steam Web Helper not responding. Now, everything feels stuck. So what do you do? This error shows up more often than people realize, and the reason has to do with how Steam actually works behind the scenes. Steam doesn't just run as one program. It splits itself into smaller helper processes. One of those is called the Steam Client Web Helper, and it's responsible for things like rendering the store pages, your library, and even parts of the interface that rely on web content. When that helper process crashes, it can lock up Steam or make it feel like it's dragging its feet. The good news is, you don't have to reinstall Steam or your games. There's a much quicker fix. Start by opening your Task Manager. The fastest way to get there is by right-clicking your taskbar and choosing Task Manager. Once it's open, you'll see a long list of programs and background tasks. Scroll down until you find Steam Client Web Helper. If you see it sitting there, marked as Not Responding, that's your culprit. Click it once, then hit the End Task button at the bottom. Don't worry, this isn't deleting anything. It's just forcing that stuck helper process to shut down so Steam can breathe again. After that, close the Task Manager. Now it's time to make sure this doesn't happen every time you open Steam. Go down to the search box in your taskbar and type the word Steam. When it pops up under Best Match, right-click it and choose Open File Location. You'll see a shortcut. Right-click that shortcut, then once again pick Open File Location. This takes you straight into the Steam installation folder, the real home of Steam on your PC. Inside this folder, look for steam.exe. That's the main application file. Right-click it and choose Properties. A new window opens and at the top, you'll see several tabs. Click the one labeled Compatibility. Here's where you'll make two quick adjustments. First, check the box that says Run this program in compatibility mode for. And from the dropdown, choose Windows 8. Next, just below that, check the box that says Run this program as an administrator. What you're doing is telling Windows to give Steam the permissions and environment it needs to keep that web helper stable. Once you've checked both boxes, click Apply, then OK. At this point, restart your computer. When it comes back on, launch Steam again. You should notice right away that the interface loads smoothly without that annoying web helper freeze. By adjusting compatibility and admin permissions, you've basically taken away the most common reasons the helper crashes. Now you might be wondering, why does this even work? Why would running Steam as administrator or in compatibility mode fix a problem with Web Helper? The answer is that Steam relies on system resources to load web content, and if Windows limits its access or handles the process differently depending on the version, Steam can stumble. Running it with elevated permissions and in a mode that's been proven stable, like Windows 8 compatibility, removes those stumbling blocks. If for some reason you still hit the error down the line, you can repeat the quick end task step in Task Manager. But in most cases, once you've adjusted those properties, the issue disappears for good. So now you know. Instead of staring at a frozen Steam window and wondering if you'll need to reinstall everything, you can take control in just a few minutes. End the stuck web helper, set the right compatibility options, and enjoy a Steam client that works the way it should. Next time you open your library or browse the store, you'll feel the difference immediately. And that's it. You've just fixed Steam Web Helper not responding. Simple, fast, and effective.